Hello. I needed to bend some plastic. As you can see, the contour there that I needed was raked back instead of forward. This is the cover to a humidifier, and it worked out great for the positioning, except for height problem. So I couldn't interlock it and then put it down. So I'm going to hook it and put it down. But in order to do that, I have to bend these tabs. This is thermoplastic, so all I need to do is heat it up, and then I can bend it without breaking it. But that was the problem. I didn't have anything to heat it up with. So I rigged up my soldering iron, electric soldering iron, with just a piece of uh, 14 gauge copper household wire. Uh, tried to keep the length as short as I could. That raises the temperature. And so I will just, I've got it wired on right now. So it's good and hot. And I will just try and do my bends. I've got one left to do, but since I couldn't find any solutions on YouTube, I thought I would do this video to uh, to show my solution and hopefully help anyone else who's looking for a solution on YouTube. So bear bear with me; it's not super fast. tell when you're touching the material it smokes. Okay. Actually got two bends to do. Okay. Not quite there yet. for the first bend. I've just got the inner bend to do and then that'll be good to go I think. I've tried other wire gauges but 14 gauge seemed to work the best. At least for this application. I saw other people using uh, a toaster oven to uh, soften the plastic, but uh, my cover here wouldn't fit in the toaster oven, and it was heat it would have heated up too large an area. With this unit, I can heat up basically just where I want to heat up, and. Uh, it gives me the control I need. Oh, just a little bit more. Getting close. B 
be nice if the heat output was just a little bit higher. But at least it'll get the job done. or breaking the material and then you've got a weak a weak bend so I'm trying to take my time there we go well oh, that's still a little bit bit of a challenge getting that bend right where you want it. pliers is a lot gentler on the hands. That plastic's good and hot when you're... <laughs> by the time it's ready to bend, it's ready to burn, too. Let's see what that looks like. That looks fairly uniform. And that's already basically solidified in position. Looks alright. I've got the switch wired, so and I've got got it so that I can uh, unplug it very handily, just so uh, so I don't have to worry about trying to quickly unwire a switch. Now to show you what the uh, wire looks like, I just bent it. As you can see, it attaches with two. Uh, nuts that have been drilled out with the the wire passes through the nut and makes a 90 degree to protrude out of a side hole so when you tighten the nut it tight, makes a good tight electrical connection my gun is good and hot i've exceeded its uh it's rated for a duty cycle of one minute on and four minutes off well i think i've reversed that so <laughs> i haven't been nice to it but it holds up and uh uh, gets the job done. So that's my simple solution for getting a heat source so I can bend the thermocouple. I hope I've been some help to you. Have a good day. Bye.